Boop. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, July 25th, 2022. Today's daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 44, Hosea 2, 14 through 35, Colossians 2, 16 through 3, 1. Or you could read the complimentary texts uh, for yesterday, for Sunday, which are Psalm 55, 16 through 23, Esther 5, 1 through 14, and then Colossians again. I'm going to take a look at Psalm 44 and keep following up with our friend Malcolm and uh, look at Psalm 44. And the Latin name for that is Deus Auribus or Aur, 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 Deus Auribus. Maybe, I don't know. Like I said, Latin, not my thing. But anyway, so uh, this is Psalm 44. I'm going to read the psalm once again and then read uh, Malcolm's sonnet in response in conversation with the psalm. Um, this is a psalm, the, the person speaking the psalm is a person that's undergoing trials, but they're remembering back to the work that God did for their ancestors. And that's how it starts off. It's like, you know, we have heard with our ears, oh God, these marvelous things. Um, and is talking about how, but now they're undergoing struggles and trials and they're waiting for God to respond. They're, 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 they're putting their faith and their hope in the fact that the same God who was with their ancestors and led them through the wilderness and, and led them into their new land and drove out their enemies before them um, is the same God who will be with them today. So I don't know, maybe you're going through times where you really feel like you're being attacked on all sides um, and you don't know what else to do. Maybe this is a psalm for you. Uh, it's definitely a psalm of Christ on the cross. Psalm 44. We have heard with our ears, O God, our ancestors have told us what deeds you performed in their days, in the days of old. You with your own hand drove out the nations, but them you planted. You afflicted the peoples, but them you set free. For not by their own sword did they win the land. Nor did their own arm give them victory, but your right hand and your arm and the light of your countenance, for you delighted in them. You are my king and my God. You command victories for Jacob. Through you we push down our foes. Through your name we tread down our assailants. For not in my bow do I trust, nor can my sword save me. But you have saved us from our foes, and you have put to confusion those who hate us. In God we have boasted continually, and we will give thanks to your name forever. Yet you have rejected us and abased us and have not gone out with our armies. You made us turn back from the foe, and our enemies have gotten spoil. You have made us like sheep for slaughter and have scattered us among the nations. You have sold your people for a trifle, demanding no high price for them. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors, the derision and scorn of those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations, a laughingstock among the peoples. All day long my disgrace is before me, and shame has covered my face. At the words of the taunters and revilers, at the sight of the enemy and the avenger. All this has come upon us, yet we have not forgotten you or been false to your covenant. Our heart has not turned back, nor have our steps departed from your way. Yet you have broken us in the haunt of jackals, and have covered us with deep darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God, or spread out our hands to a strange God, would not God discover this, for he knows the secrets of the heart? Because of you we are being killed all day long, and accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Rouse yourself. Why do you sleep, O Lord? Awake, and do not cast us off forever. Why do you hide your face? Why do you forget our affliction and oppression? For we sink down to the dust, our bodies cling to the ground. Rise up and come to our help. Redeem us for the sake of your steadfast love. Malcolm's Sonnet, Psalm 44, Deus Auribus. The living fountain, whence I drink my fill, must rise in me before I sing this psalm. How could it ever be God's holy will to raise an army to inflict the harm, the special horror of a holy war? How could we ever conquer in his name? O oh, Jesus, did you sing this psalm before you girded strength to brave your agony, to fight the only holy battle for the world you loved, and to heal the misery of all mankind? As for us, you were smitten into the place of dragons, 
Victory was won for all of us, as it is written, and so in Christ shall all be made alive, and still we live as if we have forgotten. Anyway, that's the DBR for today. Get out and enjoy the day, and we'll see you tomorrow.